Hello everyone, um, today I'll be showing you the version of OpenLP that will allow you to project scriptures. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my browser open so you can uh, go on OpenLP. Alright, so if you go and download, um, you'd find that the latest version that's um, on the website at the time of the recording of this video is version 2.4.6 and this is the current version that I have. Um, so the bug with this version, as you probably know, is that it doesn't um, connect to um, to to uh to online scriptures it doesn't allow you to install scriptures from bible gateway so to get a version that will allow you to do that you can go on the blog section of the website and then once you're there you can download this new release open lp 3.0 um so this is not a stable version but it does allow you to um install scriptures on on your open lp so once you hear you uh download it oops yeah so you'll download it depending on which uh operating system you have i'm using windows so i've already installed the the windows version of this all right so i'm just gonna uh drag the open lp to this screen uh the theme is a bit different on this open lp version but uh, the different section are still are still the same so if you go on bibles and you go to the bible import and you choose web download you download the bible list you'll see that this time it will allow you to choose the, the bible version and install it so you can for example install the good news bible So as you can see, it's uh, downloading all the all the books, and then if you go on options, you'll see that the Good News Bible is installed. And then if we maybe search for a chapter, as you can see it has um, the results loaded so yes um, so that's how you you get the scriptures back to open up you just have to install this release um, it's also important to note though that this is not a stable uh, version as yet so there are some some bugs for example I've noted I've noticed that with this version it doesn't allow you to get um, a second translation oh yeah it doesn't allow you to get a second translation there's something that yeah it just doesn't work with with the second translation but you can get um, you can install different bible versions using this um, this version yeah, so I hope that's that's um, going to be helpful to you and that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.